school district that was largely black, Latino, and Asian. Lots of gang activity, lots of violence, lots of deaths. Went into this school, um, and the true story is she got them reading and writing different things and writing about their experiences, and all of them graduated and went to college. And she did this two years before she got burnt out and left and then got her PhD and now is a college professor somewhere. Right? They don't tell about that part. They just do the hard one the good work. Right? So she goes into the school district. There's always the white savior character. There's the natives to be saved. And they always have a couple, one or two, really, really bad white racist characters. Like this person. The white school administrator. Right? And that's so the savior, even though they do really racist things, is not racist in comparison. And they always have that person. So they have this dialogue. Gruel goes, what about this? And she holds up a copy of the diary of Anne Frank. We were discussing the Holocaust. The type of literature they had been reading was really dumbed down. And she's like, no, they're smarter than this. They can deal with something more heavy hitting. And I can make this correlation between their lives and gang warfare and Nazism. I can make these connections. They'll get it. So Campbell here goes, no, no, no. They won't be able to read that. Gruel says, well, we can try. The books are just sitting here. Campbell goes, look at their reading scores. If I give the kids these books, I'll never see them again. That is, they'll steal them, right? If I do, they'll be damaged. Let me explain. It's called site-based instruction. It means that I and the principal each have the authority to make the kinds of decisions about having to go to the board. We have bigger problems to solve. Do you understand how this works? Gruel goes, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean 